We're getting ready to put the link local address to work here in our static route and we're going to work on router 2. I took everything off from previous videos as far as the static route went. Ran show IPv6 route static to verify that. Still gives you the code table, but it also shows that we don't have any static routes. So we're going to use the link local address from router 3. And the first thing you've got to make sure of, of course, is that you grab the right link local address because we have two Ethernet interfaces involved in this lab. We know that are open and running version 6, so they're both going to have their own link local addresses. So just a quick look at the diagram, and router 2 is on the same subnet with router 3, of course. 2001, all 2's block, all 3's block 1, and you see that's the fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 interface. So let's go on to over to router 3 and copy that information. And we will do a show IPv6 interface fast 00. And there are the two global addresses, the unicast addresses we talked about earlier, along with everything else. But here is the link local address. And I'm just going to highlight that and right, copy, right click it to copy it, he said carefully. And that should do the trick. Let's head over to router 2. And we'll run IPv6 route always. And we're going to start with the destination network. And now we will paste that address back in. Just right click and a paste. There's our link local. So hey, this was easy, right? I mean, you got your IPv6 route command, that's all good. Destination network, and then the link local address as a next hop. And hmm, there's something a little amiss here. We're getting an invalid input. This is interesting. We're getting invalid input, but it's pointing at a blank space. <laughs> so it kind of looks like we're, we should have something else in there. What did, what did I forget? I'm not going to say what did we forget. I'm not going to blame you. What got left out? We need that double colon at the end of that 64, at the end of this address, before the 64. That's what we were missing. So now we get another message, but it's not invalid entry, so we're making progress. Interface has to be specified for a link local next hop. And this is true. When you use a global unicast address in a static route, an IP version 6, we didn't have to specify um, any kind of exit interface, local exit interface. We had the option to, but we didn't have to. But here's a little extra gotcha here. When you use a link local address as the next hop, you've got to put in the exit interface as well, the local exit interface. Hmm. So, do you think we could put that at the end of this command? We couldn't do it in the last video, and we still can't do it. So we've got to squeeze fast Ethernet 00 right here in the middle. And there's our command as it is right now, IP version 6 route. We've got the destination, we have the local router exit interface, and we have the next hop link local address. Looks good. We didn't get any warnings, so that's definitely a step up. Let's have a look at the static routes. And the static route right now looks like we're good. There's our static entry. And you see via, but instead of the global address that we've had before, we're using the link local address, fast ethernet 0 slash 0, the local exit interface. And the proof is always in the pinging. So let's send one over. to host four on that subnet, and it's a beautiful thing. So again, uh, actually I have a recap for you on the board. Let's step back to there for a moment. Again, when we used a global unicast address as the next hop in a version six static route, we had the option of putting on the local exit interface, but it was just that, it was an option. With the link local address as the next hop, we need to tell the router, hey, here's where you're gonna find that link local address, go out this interface. And the router is going to let you know that. The router is going to say, as it said to us, hey, you got to put in a local exit interface. The exam is not going to be that kind. So if we have a link local address in a version 6 static route, we know that we've got to specify that local exit interface. And now that you're sick and tired of hearing the phrase local exit interface, um, we're probably going to use it a little bit in the next couple of videos because we need, uh, we need a default route. You know, it's a good, good idea to know how to write a default route. We know how to do it in version 4. We're going to see in version 6. It's going to take you about one second to type it in. And we're going to do some host routes as well. That's all coming up on the next couple of videos. See you there.